what is premenstrual syndrome? In this video, we are going to talk about what premenstrual syndrome is, PMS for short. We're going to talk about the causes, the symptoms, and how to manage it, how to live with PMS. If you want to know more, please continue watching this video and kindly subscribe. Thank you. Time with Dr. Adams. Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Time with Dr. Adams. Today we're talking about premenstrual syndrome. What is premenstrual syndrome? PMS for short. I'm sure you've heard about it. Either you have it, your friend has it, a family member, someone has it and you've heard of it, PMS. So what is it? There are a group of symptoms that usually occur in females between ovulation and menstrual periods. So it's between ovulation and the menstrual period. Research has said that more than 85% of women are affected by PMS. It means that when you pick four women, three out of the four have PMS. That is why I was saying, I'm sure you know someone who has PMS. Um, it usually occurs seven to 10 days before our menses start. Now, why do we call it a syndrome? Because the symptoms are not really descriptive enough and they are not specific. They don't have a specific description and every one's symptoms might be different. Hence, it is not a disease, it is a syndrome. What are the causes of PMS? Hormones. When the body is preparing to get pregnant. Remember I said PMS usually happens between ovulation and when your menses start. So the body is preparing itself for a baby. So your hormones are doing lobology, they are all over the place. So hormones are number one cause of PMS. Apart from that, we have this uh, feel good chemicals in our brain dopamine and serotonin during this time they are low they are decreased hence i told you you know someone during that time these women might want to eat chocolate or ice cream because they are feeling very moody they are having mood swings so this ice cream or chocolate is supposed to help their moods come up a bit that is why uh, people crave for sweet things during p when they have pms also, I want you to know that people who are already depressed during their PMS period will even be worse. Okay, so now let's talk about the symptoms of PMS. PMS can present in three different ways. We have the behavioral um, symptoms, we have the um, physical symptoms, and we have the emotional symptoms. When it comes to the behavioral symptoms, the person might have a lot of cravings. Like I already said, such women want to eat sweet things, chocolate, sugar. It doesn't mean everyone who has PMS has this. I do not have these cravings when I have my PMS. I do not have it at all. I eat normally. But there are some women who will be craving for food very sugary for chocolate and ice cream for example and then it can go the other way around when the woman does not want to eat at all that is these are examples of the behavioral symptoms then we have physical symptoms as well we have some women who have break out of acne on their face yes you might have a friend who always has pimples or acne on their face during a particular time in the night yes that is their symptom for pms apart from that the person might have waist pain or back pain i have that kind of symptom others might also have um, breast tenderness others might have pains in their um, um joints their elbows their ankles their knees others might present with stomach upset stomach upset comes with nausea or vomiting or diarrhea yes i'm sure you know someone who has pms apart from that the person uh, has headache or has migraines or cannot even sleep during this time and then we have uh, emotional symptoms as well that person is just irritated like we already uh, spoke about there are hormones and they are doing no body heat, so the person is just irritated no matter how nice a person is crying for something small and the person gets angry 
it is just the hormones acting up. The person might know that hmm, I'm I have my I'm having PMS, but then there's no way to really adequately control their emotions. So something small, they get angry. Something small, they care, they get irritated. They can be watching Animal Kingdom and they start crying. Mood swings. One minute they are happy, one minute they are sad. So they said, go and fry a. You have <laughs> to the husband. Your wife said, go and fry egg. Then you go and boil it. She boil, and you are wondering why. PMS. Okay, so now that we've spoken about the causes and the symptoms, what are the treatments or management? What can we do to help ourselves during this PMS period? Number one, eating a healthy, balanced diet. Drink lots of water and foods that contain calcium, magnesium. Magnesium is good, it's a maxo reluctance. So you need magnesium, uh, foods that contain folic acid, and then uh, vitamin B6. These are all green leafy vegetables. These are all good. You can also be taking multivitamins, which has these elements that I've spoken of. Exercise, exercise. You can go cycling if you want to swim, if you want to go for a walk if you want to go for a run whatever you do is good because you are going to have an adrenaline rush in your body and it's going to help you and uh, your brain and all the chemicals in there and even the body itself it's also very good we also have NSAIDs remember I said some people have physical symptoms like waist pain like myself and then breast tenderness so we give them medication NSAIDs an example of an NSAID is brufen what you call brufen ibuprofen these are non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which helps the body it helps um, take away pain so people who are having pain can be given NSAIDs mm -hmm. and then there are some people mm -hmm. who go through a lot of pain that they are put on hormones oral contrast hormonal oral, on oral contraceptive sorry please I beg of you do not go to the pharmacy yourself and buy this these are hormones and you do not want to mess mess up with hormones no it should only be prescribed by your doctor. Please do not buy over the counter uh, hormonal oral contraceptives trying to help yourself get out of the PMS. No, 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 no. Please let it be prescribed by your doctor. Then, as well, we have people who have uh, premenstrual dysphoric disorder. This is a serious form of PMS. It is so serious that it is a mental disorder. They can even have suicidal thoughts. There are 11 symptoms in this premenstrual dysphoric um, disorder. There are 11 symptoms out of it all, but you need five out of the 11 to be diagnosed of this disorder. Like I said, it's a very serious uh, version of PMS and they can even have suicidal thoughts. So such people can even be put on antidepressants. Now, let's come to the men. Dear men, dear husbands, dear boyfriends, dear partners, dear fathers, what can you do to help all the females in your life when they are going through PMS? Because we live on this earth with you guys, Emma and Emma. So if your wife is going through PMS, what can you do to help her? Number one, be prepared. How do you get prepared? know your wife or your girlfriends or your your mother or your sister or your daughters or your friend your colleagues menstrual cycle it helps a lot so if you know i'm going to be in my menses next week then probably this week i'm in or i'm having um, some signs and symptoms of pms be prepared is number one. Number two, going the extra mile to help me feel good or to help me manage this PMS thing. So I've told you, exercise can help. So why don't you suggest that we go for a morning run or an evening run? Let's go cycling. If uh, you know I uh, ice cream will help and I like ice cream during my PMS uh, period, you can buy me ice cream or you can buy me chocolate. All this will help boost my mood, you see? do anything to help the person um number three listen 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 this is not the time to argue i was telling a couple one time the woman was obviously in her premenstrual syndrome phase and the man she was irritable and the man just didn't understand they were just fighting over the air condition level so the woman wanted it at i think 20 and the man wanted it at 24. see there's no much difference she's put it at 20 for her she's in it up when she's in her pms phase so and her and, and says she just put it at that part that she wants listen 
and then number four just know that it is not about you the man you have not done anything it is not about you so she's screaming at you or she's shouting at you or she was angered by something small you did and you are thinking it's you it is not you it's just the hormones that is messing up and then there's nothing she can do about it so that's how she's letting it come out so just know it's not about you and just try and concentrate on her during that time be nice to her be the the, the work her through or let help him manage it as she is going on just know that pms is a period where the body is preparing for a baby then the baby comes if not maybe you don't want it that's another level but it's the it's nature's own uh, it's nature's own way of preparing the body for a baby women are super and it is not easy i cannot tell you if you've been a woman or you you're a woman and you go through this you understand if you're a man and you have uh you are married to a woman or you have them um, you have uh, siblings who are women you can appreciate this it is not easy so please kindly help us through our PMS period. Thank you for listening. We'll come your way with another episode of Time with Dr. Adam. <laughs> kindly subscribe. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Time with Dr. Adams. Time with Dr. Adams. Time with Dr. Adams. Time with Dr.